Well, well, well. Fancy meeting you here on a bitterly cold Tuesday morning, or probably Wednesday when this goes on YouTube at some point. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I said last night when we were playing Pathfinder, I said we want to make some good progress. We want to make some progress here. I said I will be back possibly in the morning. It is the morning and I am back. <clears throat> also, I've heard, by the way, that apparently Nenio's shadow spells are broken. So we got to start today's episode with everyone's favorite thing. Uh, we got to start with, um, we got to start with some spell book stuff. Apparently shadows, all the shadow spells in the game are broken in the current patch. So yeah, for I guess today at least, um, for the next few days <laughs> until they do a new patch. Uh, hopefully they'll fix it pretty quick because it kind of affects Nano pretty badly. But uh, we need to remove like all of her shadow spells, unfortunately. They, they ain't gonna work. So she mostly has shadow spells at higher levels. Uh, ooh, I've got an idea. She mostly has them at 7 and 8. She has the shadow evocation. Okay. 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 Here's what we're gonna do, I think. I've got a good plan, team. I've, I've got a plan. It's a dirty plan, but I think it's a good plan. <clears throat> I think this actually could work pretty well. Good morning. Uh, David, you made... Oh, my, my goodness. I wasn't sure if people would make it today. Because I'm streaming so early, but hello. Early path, yes, early pathfinder stream. That's exactly what we're doing. Yeah. Okay, unfortunately, phantasmal killer isn't. Uh... Right, I'm gonna take putrefaction. Gotta heighten that. Oops, heighten that to eight. <laughs> okay. Ah. Oh, so ooh, we can put it in there. Oh, good. Oh good, let's give her three putrefies, baby. These are 33 DC putrefies. Not too bad compared to a regular 31 DC putrefies. Not bad, not bad at all. I'm, I'm almost wondering, actually, if it might be worth switching the Staff of the War Mage, which is another plus two DC on all of her spells. I wonder if it might be worth putting that onto her. Because if we think about it, I don't. Scorching Ray is an attack. I don't believe Scorching Ray actually applies DCs. Fireball does have a DC, but it still does half damage even if they fail. I mean, that said, like her DCs are actually a bit lower. Maybe we just leave Nanio. I don't know. I guess the thing is that like, if they save, they they take half damage. On her spells, whereas if Nenio, if they save Nenio spells, nothing happens. It basically does nothing. So that's something to consider. That's something to consider. Okay. And we've got this Phantasmal. That's pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> now we've got a bunch of Super Putrefies. Let's just get Heroism Greater on the entire party. So Horse Cax and Ivu, you're now getting Heroism Graders. Enjoy. I hope you enjoy. And up here... What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a web. We're gonna heighten web up two levels as well. Here we go, perfect. We're gonna th throw web in and instead of shadow conjuration greater. Okay, which means that <laughs> I guess this level has to have one one old web. <laughs> oh, that's that's so dirty, and I love it. It's so dirty, and I freaking love it. <laughs> yes, yes, perfect. So she's gonna have three regular phantasmal killers. She's gonna have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten super ones. On on. Okay, honestly, she doesn't need these old ones anymore. Let's be real. Uh, I think we've moved past. We give her some dimension doors. We give her a couple of dimension doors. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. She's eight of these. 
Do you want to just give her three dimension doors just to have it? It's kind of cool. I don't know how often it's useful, but maybe sometimes? Let's do it. Let's give her some dimension doors for fun. There we go. I think that'll be fun. Uh, we'll keep the magic missiles. They are useful sometimes. And her shrink and her thing. Her mage armors. That's good. Over here. I think this is good. Uh, yeah. I think this is fine. I'm also wondering if we give her a couple of mirror images. But it's not a huge deal. There's displacement over here. Cool. It's an invises. She has one old web. Just for the sake of it. It's still pretty good. She have one old putrefaction. Because it's, it's a slot. Which is still pretty good. Then she's going to have four super webs, an ice body, and four super chain lightnings. The four super webs are now 32 DC. That's pretty nice. Then she's going to have four super phantasmals <laughs> and uh, three storm bolts. I like this. I think this is good. I think this is good. This is a nice setup. I'm digging this. Uh, and you're, you're fine the way you are. Uh, oh, hello. Oh, you need your other thing in there, don't you? Did I, did I change you? No. Oh, it's his freaking wisdom again, isn't it? Ah, oh, it's his freaking wisdom. Honestly, Socio, this is the, the worst thing. What they should do is they should just, like, lock you out of casting the spells, but they shouldn't alter your spell book. It's super annoying that it actually alters your spell book when he gets wisdom debuffs. And there's quite a lot of wisdom debuffs, actually. That's one good thing is that there's almost no intelligence debuffs, because intelligence is just your skill slots and your casting capabilities. So they never really debuff those. Okay. Um, oh, yes, yeah, so we got to talk to Early Sunset, this guy. Let's talk to him. Good thing I, I came here because I would have forgot otherwise. Save it. And let's talk to Early Sunset. Greetings, Nubkex. I'm glad to see you've not lost your presence of mind, even on foreign hostile planes. Uh huh. What are you planning to do in the Abyss? I could accompany you and give advice, as I did in Dresden. I see the role of mentor and bodyguard has already been taken over by the hand of the inheritor. It's not a good idea to make two otherworldly hosti creatures hostile to demons to take two otherworld otherworldly creatures hostile to demons with you. Okay. Even if I were disguised, the chances of attracting unnecessary attention would be doubled. That's fair. I'll stay and watch over the camp. If an emergency arises, I'll naturally intervene. Until then, I prefer to conceal my presence in the abyss. What news do you bring from Galarian? Unfortunately, the news is not good. In your absence, relations between the official and free crusaders have worsened. Most of your allies have been banned from Dresden. Oh my god, the queen? Fucking queenie. Honestly. They've been forced to rely on their strength alone to fight the demons. Queen Galfrey has moved the headquarters for the entire crusade to Dresden, along with part of her court. She has imposed order in the city, or order as she sees it. Many among the crusaders were saddened by your departure. Others were gladdened by it. They prefer more conservative practices and leaders they can understand. As for the demons, I expected their attacks to intensify, but this has not yet happened. It seems the attack on the Midnight Fane and the interruption of the supply of crystals dampened their fervor. Demonic activity remains strong near the Threshold Fortress and the maiming of Iz Rift, but it's always strong there. I did not notice that anything changed with your departure. That's all the news I have. I also bring news of the youngest member of your free fellowship. They're training day and night to become true warriors, and they eagerly await your return. They do not believe the Abyss will devour you. The youth are so full of hope, are they not? Ah yes, and as a counterpoint to their zeal, not long after your departure, a letter arrived in Dresden from a priestess in Erosian by the name of Narita, the former tutor of your young crusaders. You may read it and feel the full force of her rebuke. I certainly do not or know or remember my name. I was Klena and Dabaroch's tutor. The youths whom you so recklessly accept into the ranks of your free crusaders. I'm a simple priest. Oh, these are the kids. <laughs> I'm a simple priestess. I start every mo morning with a prayer. I pray for the defeat of the forces of chaos and evil. I pray for a better new world. I pray for a peaceful future for all poor orphans who find shelter in our orphanage. But for many mornings now, I find myself struggling to utter the holy words. I tremble, not knowing if tomorrow a messenger will bring news that my dear wards have lost their lives somewhere out there in the world wound. People say your great heroine, Commander, our last hope. Each new report of your deeds sends young heads spinning. Each step you take echoes in thousands of hearts, and that echo is dangerous. I implore you, do not forget the responsibility that's been laid upon you. That's all I ask. Ah, uh, actually, this wasn't as bad as he said. Full force of her rebuke. 
we could, we could, you could easily interpret that in a positive light. <laughs> but I guess it's, I don't know, I guess it's questionable whether that should be interpreted as like a fairly, a very negative thing. As in she's, you know, she's, she's kind of skirting around. She's not directly saying you're fucking up. But she's saying, you really need to learn your responsibilities, really implying that. Or she's saying, yeah, I guess that is what she's saying. Ah, oh, well. Do you recognize anything about Alishinra and its inhabitants? I know that every being capable of speech is capable of deception. Those who cannot speak deceive with silence. If you want more practical advice, do not simply follow the paths laid out for you. You must forge your own. In most places where guards bar your way, there'll be a secret path or hidden teleportation route, the most natural method for a demon. It's rare for demons to rely on locks. They prefer to kill intruders. You should be ready for that. Do you know Hepsimira? Spawn of Baphomet. She shares one trait with her disgusting father. She's a master of subverting expectations. Many consider Hepsimira powerful. I also think her outspoken and narrow-minded. She's happy to maintain that reputation. In fact, she's cunning and resourceful, does not always act on impulse. Take care if you plan to move against her. What do you mean by that? Enemies should be treated with an open mind, therefore I cannot fail to acknowledge Baphomet's ingenuity. Do you know how his ascent began? He was the favourite plaything of Lamashtu, but he conceived a bold plan to steal the scepter of the Prince of Darkness. He failed. Baphomet was captured, subjected to brutal punishment, and imprisoned in the Ivory Labyrinth, a prison designed to be impossible to escape by its powerful creator, Asmodeus. But a thief is a thief. Baphomet found an ingenious way to escape. He stole his prison from Hell and took it to the Abyss. The Ivory Labyrinth went from being his prison to his possession, his abyssal realm. From it, he rules hordes of minotaurs and secret societies of cultists. This is what I uh, was meant when I said Baphomet knows how to subvert expectations. <laughs> I didn't realize the Ivory Labyrinth was such a huge deal. Where is Baphomet now if we just destroy the Ivory Labyrinth, basically? He's probably pissed. Uh, I get, you know, before you go out, let's actually rest. I think there's no reason not to rest. Um, we'll make one more of these scrolls, and then I think we're done with these scrolls. Let me teach you a good Galarian song. You know, where I come from, there's a saying. If you want to understand a foreign people, learn their songs. That is surprising. <laughs> yes, I'd like to try. Go on. Oh, I was hoping she'd sing. Cool, man, we keep succeeding at Demon Slayer Soup. We're doing great at this. I'm really happy by these scroll changes as well. I think these have been such phenomenal changes. It's such a good change that the scroll stuff now actually works. That they clearly realize the problem with the legendary proportion stuff, and they're like, okay, let's fix this on multiple angles. Number one, let's add a bunch of new dinosaur bones. Oh, where's Ivy? Oh, here she is. She's not supposed to be with us, I think. But that's fine. Like, yeah, okay, let's give you a bunch more dinosaur bones. So a bunch of dinosaur bones. So you can actually cast the thing. This is a weird bug, how it starts you up. This is a weird one. It starts you up here. There's some weird camera clipping there. But anyway. <laughs> yeah, see, Ivy's gone now. She's at the entrance. Okay, you're out. Actually, hang on. <clears throat> For companions. So Finian can't do. Nanyo can't do. Okay, upper city with Greybore. I think that's Upper City with Ember. I think they're all nearly Upper City. 10,000 delights with, oh god, with with her. Fucking hell. Uh, we're not going there yet. Let's go to the slave markets and let's bring in, um, yeah, let's bring in the, the standard crew. Standard crew here is good. So we've got the stuff to do with, with Waljif, with Greyboard. Yeah, we've got stuff with most of them. Let's go. Uh, Battle Bliss. Wait, Art of Making Friends. Art, wait, what's the art of making friends? Hang on. Uh, oh, we have to find Zephorian. Uh. Oh. Yeah, we could go through the lower city. Let's actually do that. Let's go through the lower city. See, that's where Ivu's supposed to be. I think it's because she respawned after we rested. That's what happened. Yeah, we'll go with this party. The A team. Uh, Afro Life, hello, welcome. But yeah, plan for today, basically we're doing this early morning Pathfinder stream. It's gonna be relatively short. Uh, and then I've gotta to go to the shops and, and get some, basically do the shopping, do the groceries for the week. Um, and then I'll be back and we'll do some Final Fantasy. Wait, where are we? Oh, we're, here, we're down here. We will win this 
Then I think we might do a late night Pathfinder stream today as well. So we it's going to be a full day buttressed by Pathfinder. Buttressed by Pathfinder, no less. Okay, so this, this beggar could be anywhere. Yeah. All right. Um, do I want to buff up? We probably should. Let's at least do our long-term buffs. Okay. Oh, we should fix her spellbook now that I've really, I've really fiddled with it. That stuff should be fine. So should, so should that. So should that. So here, we have this. We've got our dimension door now. We might get rid of these. No, I guess I'll keep these early greases for now, though this grease has really fallen off in usefulness. Okay, so we don't need this. We're going to have one mini web. We now have eight heroisms. We got one mini phantasmal. Then we've got super web. Ah, she doesn't have seen visibility communal on any. Why is that on her bars even? That's weird. We have super electro. We have super phantasmal. And we've got storm bolts. Okay, this is our new setup here. This looks pretty good. So she's gonna have 10 super phantasmal killers. She's got one mini web and one mini phantasmal. Then she's got four really good webs and four really good phantasmals. A pu sorry, web and pu putrefaction. Got three chain lightning, three storm bolts for a bit of extra damage. She's got a lot of spells that she can cast, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, you know what, you can leave that on. Yes. Actually, does this work on higher level spells? Ah, can only be used with spells of third level or lower. Okay, so she's not going to be doing too much with it. Yes. Do a little bit, though. Yes. You turn on your bone armor. I'm going to set him up like this. Just this first. Why is he auto-casting this? What? Whoops! I mean to put shield of faith on her. I meant the horse. Wait, did I do the horse? I think I did. I do the horse. I wasn't paying attention. I missed the horse. And Ivu. This this act was glitchy for you. Hey Fims. Um yeah, th this act uh, one of the zones, the zone we were in yesterday, had really bad FPS. Unfortunately, it did have really bad FPS. So we'll see how it goes today. Hopefully it'll be good. But yes, the, the zone we were in yesterday was bad for the FPS. Well, let's see if life bubbles fixed. Yeah, life bubbles fixed. They fixed life bubble. Well, that's good. We are not going to do true seeing. We've almost not, we. This is one of our big goals for today. We need to find somewhere that sells some diamond dust because we are hella running out. Oh no! Don't cast life bubble. That's not bad. Um, let's give us protection for fire communal. And let's give us resist fire communal. Those seem very common, so. And then let's get some death wards out. And you can handle the other ones. Wait, oh, that's like bubble. Mm, no, do do the big one on the the damage dealers first. The stealers are pretty good damage dealer now as well. Send 
Now, I don't know if Good Hope's going to stack with anything, but we'll put it on anyway. Just to have it. Okay. You can put your veils on. Maybe some resist. Electricity, I guess? Maybe I should save that until we actually run into enemies that do spells. I don't know. Uh, I think that's most of our buffs done. Um, so she can ice body now, I think. Uh, actually, no, we've got to do... These are actually pretty important. I'm actually going to extend the deck, the dex ones, I think. Yeah, I'm going to extend dex because it's actually so important. And Nubkex has no dex left, so no dex buffs. Nubkex now is a con belt. So you have full dex. Oh, yes, you do. Uh, so Ivu, I think, is the one who uses the last dex. And Charisma. See that. Because Darren needs Charisma. Yes, actually, Darren does need Charisma. Oh, crap. I used Extend. Uh-oh. I've used all my Extends. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I forgot. I meant... Oh, okay. I should be more careful. I should... I'm, I've been meaning to save some for haste. That was kind of silly, actually. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but... Lures for everyone. Okay. Uh, you know, at this point, we might as well unbiggin as well, because we've done all of our big buffs, so why not? Save that then for now. Okay, so this is basically all the buffs. We're fully buffed. I think that's absolutely everything. We're super buffed. We're super pumped. Yep. We could, we could haste as well. We might as well haste, I guess. How long does haste last these days? Haste lasts for a minute and a half now. It's not bad. <clears throat> Don't know if they fix the... The late game stuff. Cool. I, I have no idea. Late game is out of spells? Yeah, no clue. Okay, we're looking for beggars. This is a beggar. Uh, how can I find Sephorian? Eh? Who's that? Never heard anyone by that name. If anyone has heard of him, they won't be telling you anyway. You might find a beggar in the lower city who'd be willing to chat with you, but before you find him, you'll have to worm through those nice, uh, worn through those nice boots of yours. That's a good pair of boots. It'd be a shame if you ruined them. How about you just give them to me instead? Heh. Maybe a small donation would jog your memory. Know what? Better be on your way now. I don't need no money and no shady deals with you. I don't want to know what you're looking for. Who are you? Wow, okay. Yeah, get lost. Look for this stuff, Zaf. For that freak you're looking for somewhere else. If you want him that bad, ask around. Maybe someone saw him, but leave me alone. Rude, okay. So that wasn't good. Find someone among the beggars. Okay, who has info? info. Could be anyone. Why is Darren so slow? Oh, he's got his whip turned on by default. There we go. Let's fix that. Now he's faster. Here's another beggar. What you want? Piss off. Okay, that went well. We turn the camera, which moves the floors. Here's another beggar. Nice boots, stranger. There's a lot of beggars here. There's a whole gang of beggars. And none of them wants anything. But this one here. No. Man, we're literally gonna go have to go around and click every single beggar in the game. Now oh, this guy. Ah! <clears throat> Look at this stupid Galarian strutting around, pestering everyone with her stupid questions. <laughs> wow. Can't even beg for arms in peace. What do you want? Uh, not a beggar in the lower city you haven't harassed? Wow. Hang on. What was it you wanted to know again? 
Come on then, ask anyway and piss off. You don't seem too willing to share information. Why should we tell you anything? Who are you to demand answers from us? Just strutting around, badgering everyone, getting in the way of good, honest begging? Good, honest begging. <laughs> the only information I have for you is where you can shove your stupid questions. Ever heard of Zephorian? Well, maybe there was a fellow with such a name. Oh, this is something. <laughs> or maybe there wasn't. I don't know. The others don't know either. What's your problem with us? Go ask around in the middle city. Can even search for him in Shamira's dark hole for all I care. Just leave us alone. Do you know where I can find him, yes or no? I don't know. No one else does either. Just leave us alone. Go ask the man in charge. Maybe he knows this Sephorian of yours. If he doesn't, then no one does. As soon as you see our gang, start asking around. Our boss never walks by himself. He always has a crowd with him. Okay, I have to go. Yo, hang on. Give me one sec. Sorry, I gotta do something here. Real fast. Okay, grand. Okay, cool. Back. <clears throat> So we need to find the king of the beggars, the leader of the beggars. Yeah, I, I think it. I think it's probably these guys we just walked by. This is a big gang of beggars. Oh, look, our formation's broken. There we go, fixed. And this is also horribly broken. Okay, fixed. We're saved. Everything's good again. It's got to be this guy, right? One of these. Let's go for the guy that looks like Suture. Dead eyes of the beggars watch you closely. Spare, your co spare a coin, stranger. Be careful with them. These beggars are different from the ones in Galarian. They were rejected even by the Society of the Abyss. Just imagine what type of person you must be if even demons don't want to deal with you. They're not as helpless as they may seem, and their leader is untouchable. They say even the Lady in Shadow sometimes seeks his counsel, and some say that, that it is Alishinra herself who has assumed the form of an ordinary demon in order to communicate with those who inhabit her. I wonder why they beg for coins. What do they want to buy? Actually, no, I don't want to know. If I find out, I'm sure I'll only be upset or angry or disgusted. Wow. Casually toss 10,000 coins on the ground. Perception. Anyone know Sephorian? Some of the beggars seem to prick up their ears at your words. Noticing you're looking directly at them, they reluctantly stand. You definitely manage to draw their attention. They do not appear to be in a hurry to share any information. We could try Knowledge World. Decent. Athletics. Not so good. Oh, my. Is that our best athletics? Well, our athletics skill in the party is actually not great. Uh, let's try to figure out who's in charge of this unruly lot. is isn't difficult to figure out who's in charge of the rabble. He treats the others with stern arrogance, keeps his eyes on you. Others cast wary glances at him. Okay. He realizes you figured him out. He continues to examine you with an indifferent look. Oh, wow, look at this. Ooh, we can do it. Politely bow. Would you be so kind as to tell me where I can find Zephorian, esteemed leader of these poor lost souls? We are filth on the streets of Alashinra, and you trample us under your feet. And yet, you're polite to me. This is wise, because we all turn into filth sooner or later. This is why I'll deal kindly with you. A filthy pile of garbage, once named Sephorian, begs at the entrance to the Battle Bliss, the gladi Gladiator Arena. That's where you'll find him. That went really well. That was great. Look at this, a little bit of politeness. Get, goes a long way, chat. It goes a long way. You bunch of fucking bastards, chat. Fuck you. See? A bit of politeness. It does wonders. Let's actually see if, um... Maybe the innkeeper sells diamond dust. <clears throat> One issue with our exploration is that our buffs are so strong and we never know when we're going to be attacked. How late will the Final Fantasy stream be? It should be at the normal time. I, I already have Demon Slayer soup. Um, I don't need that. Ah, he doesn't sell any ingredients. Shit. Or maybe... Is it in Notable? Anyway, let's bulk sell some junk to him. A couple of short swords we don't need. Composite short bow. Shock composite short bow. Scimitar. Grant. Clear this stuff out. I'll keep the named stuff. I'll keep breastplate plus four. I'll keep this. I should probably put this armor back in my chest next time we're back in base. Resistance plus one. Don't need that. That's for sure. Yo, I've got a ring of protection plus five. Do I now? Smile. Oh, probably no one can actually use it. Just yet. 
Yeah, everyone's got better rings. Because we can just shield of faith. How long do we have left on our buffs? Hopefully a good while. Yeah, a good while, a good while. Okay, let's keep exploring. I felt like the polite option was the most daring of options. The daring would just be like, start being friendly to the beggars. Can we squeeze past? Oh, what's gonna happen? Okay, I thought we might die for a sec, but now we're good. Okay, so he's up here somewhere. He's probably this guy. This guy looks suspicious, all right. This vagrant is repulsive, even by the standards of the abyss. His lumpy, scarred face makes you think he was put through a meat grinder, then shaped back into a semblance of his former body and left to live out his life. His tall and once impressive figure has been shattered. His arms are covered in the protruding lumps of unset bones that were left to heal improperly. Oh god, that's awful. Wow. The beggar's clad in many layers of dirty, smelly rags, onto which hundreds of keys are sewn, from tiny toy box keys to giant cast iron keys that bows the demon's neck almost to the ground. So, you're looking for Sephorian. He's long dead. That doesn't seem to be stopping you. Well, so what do you want to make a dead? What do you want with a dead man? Just look at him. He was once the ruler of this city, Nocticula's favorite. I can make an educated guess about what kind of favorite he was. The incubus, embodiment of temptation, most cherished plaything play play of the mis mistress of the midnight archipelago, and now reduced to this wretched ruin. His uh, How unenviable is the fate of those who court the passions of the powerful. You're not talking about us, are you? No, I'm just thinking aloud. <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is not a glimpse of, into our future. You've nothing to worry about. I have no idea why you're so sure about that, but I like your confidence. I always have. Zephorian, the master of lies and trickery. I remember fighting him. Oh, we could attack. You've fallen so low. I wonder if anyone will notice you dead. Am I romancing Darren? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, Share your knowledge with me. I know a lot about Alashinra and about its current ruler, too. Trust me, staying in power in this city wasn't easy. What would you like to know? What did you do to fall so low? I was overly hasty. I had power back then. It grew with every passing day. Lamashtu's belch. I was just a step away from becoming more powerful than Nocticula and toppling her from her throne. And why not? After all, that's exactly how she got where she is now, after she took down that toothy old freak, Viriavacus. I was about to start my coup. I had even found a powerful patron, Sokoth Benoth. Ooh. Nocticula's brother, who held a serious grudge against her. Before I had time to start, that sly mortal mage stole an important thing from me. A thing that could have shifted the balance of power. And then that redhead little bitch learned about my plans. She turned me into Nocticula. Oh, was this the storyteller stuff? I fell, the redhead harlot took my place. Ah, Shamira. I should have strangled you the moment you appeared in the abyss. The sly mortal mage. Yeah, it was the storyteller. You were stripped of everything you once were. That's terrible. I understand, I really do, but... Why did you decide to become like this? When someone takes away your past, you're free of it. Why didn't you want to become someone new? It's as if you were broken then badly glued back together. Do you really like living like that? Do you really think I had a choice? Do you think I wanted any of this? Everyone has a choice. You can leave this alley at any time. Go to a place no one knows you. Become whatever you want. But for some reason, you keep sitting here. What do you think of Alashinra today? Same pile of crap as when I was in charge. Okay. Just as I did, Shamira rules this crazy lot with an iron fist, subduing them through terror and violence. Okay. It doesn't take a genius to do that, you just need to be absolutely ruthless and have enough power to be able to drown any insolent scum in his own blood. Any advice how to survive? Do not trust anyone. Okay, once you ascend high enough, be especially suspicious of the unexpected gifts that will suddenly start being showered upon you. All right. What do you know about Nahindrian crystals? There's a tale told in Alashinra. Oh, conversation with Lan. A tale about crystals that grant immense power. What exactly are they? From where did they draw this power? No one seems to know. I've seen something like it only once before. I found the first crystal on the Isle of Vazglar. It seemed useless to me. It contained a great deal of power. It, has, it was of no use whatsoever. I meant to give it to my patron, as he would have found a way to use it, but I never had the chance. 
some feeble mortal mage managed to steal the crystal from me. He locked himself in a tower, examined the crystal, studied it, managed to find some use for it. But he was under Nocticida's protection and never tried to hunt him down. It's the storyteller. So the storyteller found, basically, I believe the storyteller came into possession of the first Nehindrian crystal. Oh, shit. I bet you're thinking I'm just going to tell you the name you seek and you can rush off and have a chat with that mage. Not a chance. The mage wasn't a demon. He was a mortal who served Nocticula's arcane needs back in the day. Kick the bucket long ago. All that's left of him is the tower in the upper city. <gasps> the storyteller's tower. Locked, protected by magic. Many have tried to get inside in the hopes of stealing something of value. Their remains rotted long ago. No use talking about them now. You're curious now. You'd like to have a poke around that tower, wouldn't you? Perhaps you could find something of use in there, yes? Take it while I'm still feeling generous. This will open the way into the tower. When I ruled Alashinra, I made sure I had a key for every hideout and tucked away nook in the city. Never know when they might come in handy. Take this and get lost. Take a closer look at this surprisingly selfless demon. Something spiteful and vicious lurks in the depths of his eyes. He looks like a predator waiting in ambush, or a scavenger waiting impatiently for his prey's agony to finally end so he can enjoy his meal. Whatever his motives, the demon obviously does not wish you well. Is already counting down the minutes to your imminent demise. I remember. I've heard of this place. It's a tower, supposedly filled with treasures left there after the death of an ancient mage. No one could prove there's any truth to these rumors, because not one of the daring adventurers who managed to get in ever returned. The place is a death trap. Zephorian's probably just toying with us. He's pretending to be helpful, only to send us a certain death. Yeah. You give me a key just like that? Why not? I don't need it. Now go get lost. Okay. Where's the Isle of Vas Vasglar? Wild place. An island in Ishiar. Deserted. No one really cared about it. I had a secluded lair there where I kept all sorts of nasty tricks for Nocticula. Anyone who'd found my den could have made a tidy profit. But not so long ago, the island sank. No point looking for it. And that's probably why that demon girl was making her son dive... Dive down. Why are these crystals called Nehindrian? Who knows? It's a whim of fashion. Thing is, they're not actually Nehindrian at all. Uh, Nahindri was a demon lord, the master of treasures, dungeons, and shiny trinkets. If he'd had crystals such as these, I doubt Nocticula would have been able to kill him all those centuries ago. Back then, they were just called purple crystals. You're trying to lure me into a trap. You'll probably die there. Maybe you won't. You'll find out what Shamira wants. It was Shamira who sent you, right? She was the one who turned me into Nocticula back in the day. Now she wants to topple her mistress, take her place. That's why she wants the crystals so much. So be it, I say. Whoever loses this fight, I'll be the winner. I'll savor the outcome. You, Shamira Nocticula, may you all drop dead, tear out each other's throats, and strangle each other with your own intestines. You're all scum, and I'll piss on your corpses as they float by in an ocean of your blood. Goodbye. Enjoy your walk. <laughs> okay, you know what? I'm not even mad. Not even mad. Uh, yeah, our buffs are still rolling, actually. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Um... So how do we get into the... I think we can get to the flesh markets from the middle city, right? I want to go to the flesh markets. I think we can get there from middle city. Um, I think there's also a way down here. But I don't remember exactly. I think, I think maybe up this way, actually. Yeah, I think maybe down here we can get up. Let's take a look. Yeah, we can. We have a climbing up thing. Oh, with bad, bad athletics. And we have a lot of stuff is pointing us to the. Oh, horse kex is a beast of athletics. Oh, I guess he just. Oh, that's the problem. Horse kex is a beast of athletics, but he can't do it. He can't do it in conversations. He can only use his athletics out in the world. Oh, that's what it is. That's what it is. That's a pity. It's a pity. Okay, so this should be the flash markets. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, this is still the middle. Oh. Okay, this is actually still the middle. It's just another way into the middle city. So the flash markets are here. Down here? A success 
Flesh markets. To the flesh markets. Okay. Oh, these are actually just part of the middle city. Uh, okay. Oh, there's Hepsamira just standing there. Holy shit. Hey, Hepsamira. Hey, Happy. Curs. Looking to buy slaves, eh? Me? Just sold off the shipment I captured during the last raid. I'm Curs, captain of the bloody bitch. Who are you? I'm Curs. Okay. Famous pipe. Do you know Milara? That nut job. Ha! Her entire crew must be wimps and weaklings. If they haven't slit such a leader's throat. He's a spark of fear in his last. I think Malara is the one in the tavern. Maybe. Pleasure slaves. Oh, hello. Oh! A grotesquely fat demon. Is that Monaco? Speaks to a demoness standing in front of him. His voice irritated yet slightly sycophantic. If you want to get these sweet ASMRs for the 10,000 delights, cough up 50,000. Just look how delicious they are. These girls haven't yet been whipped. Your clients will be clamoring for them. And after they're too worn out, they'll make a magnificent stew. I don't think any of those are girls. That looks like two dwarf men. That looks like two human men. Okay, we do have two girls. We've got two girls. Okay, fair. Chivaro. I'll give you 30 if you stop talking rubbish, junk. Or keep going, and you can steer clear of my palace of delights. You can pleasure yourself on your, on your own, you fat chunk of rotten meat. Do you want to get on Javaro's bad side? Do you really want that? ASMR slaves are trying to avoid looking at the angry demon ass. 50,000! For these delightful innocent creatures, your shabby, worn-out demon ass can't hope to compete with. That is my final offer. Stay away from the 10,000 delights. You can have your own little morsels pleasure you from now on, you greedy, horny piece of shit. Wow. This guy. Allow me pr to present my living wares. <laughs> it's time for you to die, you fax, fat sh sack of shit. The finest household slaves to serve you. Entertain your body and spirit. They can satiate even the most exquisite cravings. <laughs> he accompanies his last claim with a voluptuous lip smacking, looking pleased. Wow. Show me what you have for sale. Feast your eyes on them. The most exquisite pleasure slaves, raised in comfort and luxury at your service. They're well trained, neat, docile, stand ready to become ideal servants for your manor. All of them are young and healthy in a perfect state of ripeness. Of course, we've made sure their tender flesh meets the expectations of even the most demanding gourmet. They've no inkling of what awaits them. You need not be worried about uh, fear spoiling the meat, making it tough and bitter. Okay. Uh huh. They look good. He's nearly hyperventilating. Just recently, one of my slave hunting crews returned, bringing me a most beautiful gift. A group of young, fresh, pure ASMR girls, full of mouth-watering innocence. All of them, beauties in their prime, caught with the utmost care, unwounded. Oh, Shamira will take an interest in them, I wager. Because of her origin, she loves mm, having her fun with ASMRs. There are countless ways one can use such a valuable acquisition. Though, if you ask me, the smartest way is to treat yourself to a medium-rare filet with rich, meaty gravy. The ASMR women look pale and scared, but they're retaining their dignity. <laughs> Such beauties should be enjoying life and delighting others with their loveliness, not bathing their faces in tears in the middle of a slave market. How much do you want for them? <laughs> Would you like to buy these girls? Well, we can negotiate a deal. I warn you now, they won't come cheap. Address the pleasure slaves. Don't you get it? You're going to be eaten. What are you talking about? We're slaves intended for exquisite pleasures, not livestock. Our job is to please and satisfy the tastes of the most uh, influential and mighty demons, to entertain them and, not, and to be their pets. Who would kill such a valuable asset just for food? Something tells me these unfortunate simpletons have not the slightest idea what exquisite pleasures mean where demons are concerned. It isn't even certain they would have lived any longer had they been sold to fulfill their stated purpose rather than being sent straight to the slaughterhouse. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Stop messing with the heads of my sweet little parrots. Daddy Junk loves you all. He'd never eat you. Isn't that right, my sweeties? 
They're fattening you up like pigs for the slaughter. They're demons. They eat people like you. They're scared. Oh boy. Junk slowly maneuvers his massive body towards the nearest slave, a slender young boy with fair hair and soft features. With a lazy swipe of his claws, the boy's lower jaw disappears and blood starts gushing from the terrible crimson cavern where his jaw used to be. The boy blinks in dumb bewilderment, then a wild howl erupts from his throat as he falls. Demons wearing wolfish grins crowd in from every corner of the market. Damn it! Who asked you to tell these idiots the truth? They're like cattle. They go wherever they're led until they see the butcher's knife. Oh, and he's going to attack me. Oh shit, guards are attacking me as well? Wait, a, gu a single guard. Oh god. So this guy is, uh, okay, he's level 22. Oh, he's pretty strong. What about this guard? Why is this guard attacking? What a freaking jerk. Right, well, let's do this thing. All right, Nenio. See, they're probably all immune to electricity, let's be real. She maybe not. Now, yeah, immune to electricity, of course he is. Darren. Uh, you, could, you could do a holy word. You can share your buffs. You smite this guy. Oh god, he's literally just ripping the, the slaves apart. What a jerk. Is Nubkex stunned or something? Oh, Nubkex is dazed. Yeah, this guy's powerful. This guy's very strong. Mark him as a quarry. Heal Ivu, see if we can keep her alive. Oh, you're stunned. Okay, Ivu's dead. God damn it. Ivu always dead. We have Breath of Life. But Darren's not stunned. But that doesn't protect us from dazes, huh? Bummer. Thought it would. How's he not dead? Why is he not dead? Unholy aura. Is he have regen? I like that they've made this more parsable as well. He's airborne. What? Um, I'm not sure why he's not dead. He's a demon of strength. Oh, that's cool. They've clarified this stuff as well. I don't know. He should just die. Maybe he just we haven't hit him. Is it one HP, maybe. Yeah, he was. I think he was just literally at one HP. He's still dazed, bro. Well, Ivo's dead and not getting back up. Feels bad. The ASMRs no longer look broken. Hope has brought the pale glow of heavenly fire to their eyes. One of the women clutches a hairpin that by some miracle went unnoticed by the guards. Resembling a gleaming stiletto, it ends in a rather vicious looking point. With their expressions alone, they send a clear message. Don't come near us, rage, defend ourselves. Help us, kind lady. We know you're no stranger to compassion and mercy. Your aura warms our hearts like the sun of our beloved Galarian. Ah, what is this aura that you sense? We don't know, we just sensed it. We're no sorceresses. We are guided by our senses alone. As soon as we are separated, um... But so, uh, no, sorry. As soon as you appeared, we were touched by bright, clean energies. We knew you for a friend. We heard about something like this. A horrible demon, our master called him the Echo, wanted to buy us and use us to find a stranger from Galarian. 
A stranger who's surrounded by benevolent light wherever she goes. They failed to agree on a price, so the terrible demon left, spitting curses. What a relief. It's worse than anyone we've seen here. Perhaps these poor wretched souls sense my presence. The blood of heaven runs through their veins, and our kinship reveals itself. But what dire news they bring. The echo of Discari, an avatar of our sworn enemy, does not cease his attempts to get to me. I wonder if he's talking about you or about me, though. All right, here's how to go to... Yeah, we could send him to the ASMR. But no, go to my camp. Go to the Nexus. Thank you, stranger. Did not expect any help in this terrible place. Will not forget it. You did a noble thing when you did not abandon the weak in their hour of need. You have my deepest respect. Okay, I, I am actually happy with this outcome. We killed Juk. Uh, I didn't send them to Laverk. Again, remember, don't trust anyone. We don't know that that Laverk dude is good. We don't know that. We're hoping that he is, but we don't know. Oh shit, we've just triggered something. Oh, blah, 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 Hapsamira. Master Saraxes is delighted to behold Lady Hepsamira and Lady Shamira. It's a great honor for him. How may he assist you? Like, Nexus is guaranteed safety. Um, sending them to that ASMR is, is question. Maybe he's good. Maybe he's bad. Hepsamira is looking to buy some slaves. The best slaves. It's for an important job. Trust no one, basically. Vark Taburgek. Allow me to present this fine specimen, an extraordinary, belligerent, destructive, and vicious slave. He killed seven hunters before his capture. Shut your mouth, meatball. Your breath stinks. I don't need gladiators or bodyguards. I'm looking for a pack of strong demons, ones who are not very bright and can obey orders. Most demons, then. <laughs> in that case, perhaps my lady be interested in this batch of creatures recently captured in the lower city. They're all strong and quite stupid. Okay. Poor guys. Hepsamira, what do you want with these puny creatures? They're small fry, only fit to be cannon fodder for the crusaders, I would suggest. They seem fine to me. Finish the preparations. Send them to the harem of ardent dreams and be quick about it. Ooh. Interesting. Wonder what's going on there. Slave trader. So wait, I can buy stuff off these guys? I'm gone. Guard. Oh, there's a book. Nature of the Divine. Okay. Galu Warmonger. Oh, here's the Black Mask guy. Save it. Oh, that's a funky looking Marilith over there as well. Black Mask. Greetings, stranger. I'm Whirlong, leader of the Battle... Legend of the Battle Bliss. Looking to buy some battle slaves? Show me the weapons you're selling. Best examples. Okay, show me. Why'd you keep calling them Nahindrian? Magic of crystals. Okay. Everyone in Alishinra calls top quality goods Nahindrian now. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. I'm going to destroy this market. You betcha. Frickin' slavers. Mm -mm, not on my watch. Exterminator greatsword. Uh, my webcam's in the way. Let me turn me off for a sec. Hey, Damp. I thought you were going to the office today. Are you... uh? Just haven't had it in yet. Royal Messenger's Chain Shirt. Plus four Mithril Chain Shirt gives you bonus on reflex and competence bonus on mobility. That could be really good for Nubkex, actually. What does Nubkex have equipped right now? Nubkex has a plus four. No, yeah, this is better than what Nubkex has. Flowing Half Plate. Bonus reflex. Okay, that's pretty good, too. Not as good. Spiked Light Shield. Provokes a shield bash whenever it's critically hit. Eh, okay. I'm not sure if... Um, well, it's probably not that useful. If you get crit, you're probably going to die. Interceptor. Keen Rapier gives its wielders bonus on attack and damage rolls and attacks of opportunity. If you make a killing blow, you can make an extra attack. Wow, that's super good as well. 
That could be super, 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 super good for uh, Camellia, though I don't like Camellia, so, you know, Night Flash. Belt of Bloodlust, four strength and four dex. Whenever you land a killing blow, gain plus five morale bonus on your next attack. That's extremely good as well. Display of power, plus six strength. Gives this wearer a 15 feet aura, makes all enemies in range suffer minus two penalty on will. Yo, that's super good as well. Sickles, unexpected resolution. Whenever you land a hit on an enemy, one of the following effects happens. Does an additional 66 slashing damage. Does 1d4 damage to one of their ability scores. Heals the enemy for 3d4. Does 3d4 damage to the wielder. Or the enemy suffers minus 3 penalty to attack and damage for 1d6 rounds. Ha! That's hilarious. That's actually really good too. Longbow of Leeching Strike. When you confirm a critical hit, the enemy suffers 1d6 direct damage for every 5 feet that enemy travels for 2 rounds. Including involuntary movement. Yeah, that's actually very good. It's a plus 5 bleed longbow. That could be great to buy for a Ruchele, to be honest. Promise of Greatness. Makes your first spell better. Eh. Holy Devotee's Wrath. Count counts neutral enemies as evil. Oh, that's cool. Headbutter's Helm. Whenever you charge an enemy, they have to pass a reflex throw or suffer so a penalty to attack and AC for a while. <laughs> a two bladed sword? Winter's Mark. Frost Double Sword. That's that's fun. Gold coin from the flesh markets. Yep. Solid chains. Gives it damage reduction. Dwarven war axe. Dragon bane. Doubles any insight bonus to attack and damage the wielder might have. That would be very, very good for uh, our dwarf guy. Divine dismissal. Okay. Let's see if we can buy... I want to buy... I want both of these, to be honest. Do I even have enough money? I, I kind of do. I think I want to buy everything. We should probably check the rest of the shop first, but those belts seem so good. This belt would be an absolute monstrous belt for Wendwog. This this thing I want to put straight onto, onto her. She right now has a plus four strength and con. Let's give her plus six. And debuffing everyone's will. That's so good. And this is for Arushale. This is for Nubkex. I would also consider buying... Oh, I, I should buy everything. Oh! If I'm going to kill him, which I probably will. Okay, I need to buy everything right now that I want then. Okay. Rule bleed, rule breaker. He's got some really cool stuff. So I want this as well. Do I want this flowing plate? Not really. Light shield, don't think I need that. So I think we've got most of the stuff we want actually. Encouraging, it's kind of fun. Let's get promise of greatness for, for our guy. Don't need that. Don't need that. Man, this is going to be all my money. We could come back to him. We could probably come back. We come back. Let's not buy this for now. Let's not buy this for now. We'll definitely get the coins. I want, I want all of these right now. Okay, then we'll come back. Okay, we'll come back to him. But, man, we got some great stuff. So, Nubkex. Very nice. Very nice. New thing. Gets a big bonus on Reflex. She's got crazy Reflex saves now. That's super good. And competence bonus on Mobility. And we're using this weapon. Actually, we'll use this for now because it's been buffed, I think. Maybe not. Does it have Crusader's Edge? Yeah, no, she still has Crusader's Edge. But this weapon that she's using, the Master Fencer Sword... Adds half of her rank in mobility as bonus damage on crits and attacks of opportunity. And now this is giving her a bonus on mobility. So Nubkex now has 41 mobility. So with this weapon, whenever she hits an opportunity attack or whenever she crits, she's going to get plus 20 to the damage. 
that's kind of dirty. That is kind of insanely dirty, and I like it a lot. Okay. I like it a lot. I could get put on another necklace. I could. Yeah, because we are using bark skin now. Yeah, so we need to get new necklaces. Yes, we do. Okay, a uh, display of power. We're going to give this to Sila. She's going to hit harder. Let's then stack with this. Try to dominate outsiders. We need to get her a better helmet as well. That's not very good. But yeah, so Sila now has... She's going to debuff all enemies with her aura. Penalty on their will. That's super good. Nubkex's attack rolls are already nuts. Yeah, plus 41, plus 36, plus 31. Yeah, Nubkex is... This is fully buffed now. Bear in mind, this is basically fully buffed. But yeah, Nubkex is kind of a monster. She's got plus 4 from weapon training, plus 15 base attack, plus 9 from dex, plus 4 from their weapon, plus 4 heroism, plus 3 from soup, plus 2 weapon focus. Yeah, it's pretty solid. Belt of Bloodlust. Now, we could actually give this... We could actually give this to Arushalai. Ooh... No, actually, I think I want her to have the Assailant's Belt. But we'll put Belt of Bloodlust onto our other girl. It's still going to be super good. Now, the weapon, though. Oh, actu actually. Oh, I think her one might be better. I think she has a better bow. Infuse it lawful. So she does extra 2d6 against chaotic creatures. It's a plus four. It's good aligned. Bonus against chaos. They suffer penalty. Yeah, her bow, her current bow is actually better. We can give this to Lan, though. This is a plus five. Confirms a crit. They suffer damage whenever they move. Whenever it lands a hit, it makes them bleed for 1d6 per round. I mean, this is really good. But it's not as good, I don't think. Yeah, I think the one she has right now is actually better. But this is still super good. We can give it to someone else. The hide of a magical creature. Okay. Oh, there's a portal. And we can use this portal now. Excellent. So we can now get back to the flash markets. This is good. Oh. Sorry. I turned the cam off because it was blocking the stats on the sheets. I turned it back on. There was some diamond dust. Oh, hello. Jaws of the Jackal. Gauntless of Profane Vigor effect. Plus two natural bo bonus to natural armor to all evil creatures summoned by the wearer of these gauntlets. If you summon a Thana Demon, they give it greater Profane Vigor and plus four natural armor bonus to AC. If you summon any good outsider creature, it will attack the wielder? Oh, God. Well, that's super interesting. That, that's that's really cool. I like that. You could do some fun builds with that. Remissa the Slave Trader. Translucent Marilith. Hello. Okay. It's a projection of the creature's consciousness. Okay. Her physical body is located somewhere far from here. There's a mandrake here, shrieking. A visitor from another plane. I'm Remissa, known as Slowed Skin. No simple vendor, but a true artist of the slave trade. My warehouses currently stand empty. Always arrange for custom order. What would you like to acquire? Your enemy's son or daughter bound by magic and powerless in the face of anything you might wish to do to them? An attractive person who once dared to reject you? The little brat who bullied you as a child? I'll assure us the city where all your dreams come true. Wow. What I see standing here is just your projection. Certainly. It's not safe to appear in the flesh markets in person. Especially for someone like me. You see, before I switched to this line of work, I was a humble gardener. I used to grow mandrakes. It's a well-known fact that mandrakes grow if you water an ordinary weed with demon blood, or if you plant it in a demon's corpse. The allies, lovers, and masters of those I turned into fertilizer are still searching for me. I conduct business remotely. Wow. An artist of the slave trade. Others trade for material gain. I do it for art. Unlike others, I'm not involved in the face of the shipment of goods. Each slave who passes through my hands has a personality. Each sale is a spiritual experience. Not long ago, I sent my hunters to track down and capture a brave rebel fighting for the freedom of his people. Then I sold him, chained and dressed as a pleasure slave, to the tyrant who'd enslaved his homeland. Some may call it cliche. I call it classic. <laughs> okay, that is amazing. That's so fun. Krebus. 
Hello, Krebus. Tall, thin vendor in a black robe. Not a demon, but you can't determine his race. He almost doubles over as he sweeps into a low bow. He moves with supernatural delicacy and grace impossible for a human. He extends his arms, also covered in tattoos, towards you. The ink on his palms comes to life and forms the words, Greetings, I'm Krebus, vendor of magical lunatics. I can sense shadows, evil shadows that once served their old master, Viravacus, whom I fought valiantly and had not the strength to defeat. Beware this one champion, for he is linked to powers both formidable and cunning. Wow. I see darkness curling under a thin layer of skin. Wow. Show me your magic wares. Gives you another low bow. Okay. What does he sell? Phantasmal Guile. Cast Illusion School Spell. <gasps> Allows its wearer to cast Illusion School Spells as if they were three level higher? Yes. Arcane Persistence. Whenever you cast the same spell for the fourth time during the day, their next spell becomes quickened. Oh, he can cast as a swift action. That's pretty good. Ring of Imminent Demise. When you make an attack of opportunity, the enemy must pass a fort save throw or be knocked down. Also gives plus two competence bonus and attack or damage rolls at two-handed weapons. Wow. Robe of Malice. Plus three AC, plus five unarmed damage and damage rolls. Lawful Evil Monks. Oh, wow. Oh, this guy sells stuff. Sells lots of stuff. Ooh, he has greater quickens, greater maximize. Oh my goodness. Unholy shepherd. Well, while wielding this ring with a sign of Baphomet, you can summon two CR 14 half fiendish minotaurs three times per day that will fight at your side for 10 minutes. However, if you die while wearing this ring, they're summoned too, but now his enemies. Can someone... Cool. It's pretty fun. Do you have any diamond dust, friend? This guy has a lot of stuff. Gold coin from the flesh markets. Do I need to buy multiple gold coins? I think I only have one. I think Seor is caster rank. I think it's caster rank 14, so it's not super good. Ooh, summon monsters 4 wand. That's kind of cool. Let me see. Doesn't seem like he sells diamond dust. Hmm. That's kind of good. I mean, she doesn't even have boots. I don't think I can afford it, though. Oh, I can. Eminent Demise? Nah. No one uses 200 weapons. Well, maybe this would this work? Does does um, does Rachel's thing count as... Um... Does Rachel's thing count as a two-handed weapon? Probably does, his gnome hooked hammer. Or does that count as a dual-wielding weapon? That could be good. I mean, these both are super good. It does, so I do want to get this. Oh man, but what am I going to sell him? I can't afford it all. This sucks. Let me get this for sure. Well, I, let, let me start looking for... Let's just leave. Okay. Raggy. We need to start killing. We need to get more money. We need to kill people. I'm your. Uh, what are you selling? Calls me Raggy. Okay, top vendor. I specialize in rabble and riffraff. My goods cost ten times less what others are selling. I have a hundred times more clients than everyone else. Everyone needs a slave. Wow. He does have authority. I don't just sell live goods. I sell stuff used to belong to these poor fools as well. Find extremely valuable items. Willing to take this crippled waif off your hands. He nods towards Ember. If you expect to sell her yourself, don't bother. No one wants to buy such a puny thing. I can add her to my lot of Galarian slaves. You are mistaken. I'm not for sale. Show me the spoils you've looted. 
Blackened Rags. Plus 10 competence bonus on Knowledge Arcana. Increases the DC of spells from the Witch. Spell lists and hexes by one. Oh, good. I'm going to quick draw. Yo! Insight bonus on attack and damage at range weapons against large and bigger. Plus four bonus on initiative rolls. That's super good. Rusty Dawn, a battle axe. Cross a battle axe. Does more damage. Okay, cool. I'm in a mighty fist plus four. Rude stopper. Call to violence. Gives the wearer a 30, a 30 feet aura. Gives all enraged allies bonuses. Okay. Gold coin. Speed gnome hooked hammer. Okay, can I afford his stuff? So black and rags I want. Quick draw I definitely want. Mighty fist would be nice. That would be really nice too. I don't think I care about the rude stopper. I mean, it's a plus five heavy crossbow, but we don't really use crossbows. Nobody really uses battle axes either. Brutal club. No one, no one gets enraged. So, get mighty fist. There we go. Excellent. Good deal. Uh, so, oh horse kex. Not bad. Mighty Fist plus three. Excellent. Okay. Quick draw. Yeah, you don't need armor. Plus two attack and damage with ranged weapons against large and bigger and bonus initiative. Excellent. Horse Kex has insane stats. Yeah, you can't see his AC either. He's got 49 AC, regular AC. Right there. It's pretty good. Horse Kex a bit of a monster. In terms of his attacks, he has a gore attack, two hoof attacks, and a bite. He's got lots of he's got lots of stuff. Horse Kex is kind of a beast. Absolute nuts, I know. So for you. Yo, look at these. The blackened rags. Cool. Blackened rags for Ember. Ember looks like an endgame boss, like, at this point. Like, look at freaking Ember. She looks better without the headgear, to be honest. Ember looks like a monster. Is, is, yeah, the dragon is dead. Yeah. The dragon died. It's, it's true. Dragon died. She looks kind of evil. That's because she burns everyone to death. She absolutely murders them all. Fiery destruction. I'm going to save the game. Um, so presumably when we attack this guy, everyone's going to turn on us, seeing as he's, like, super popular or whatever. So, I'm not sure where to position people. Let's put I will you up here. Birth. Oh, she can't go up there. Okay. Uh, there's fine, actually. Yeah, yeah, you come back here. It's actually so stuff like Let's this. Head out. What do you mean Ivu died? She comes back whenever you rest, but she always dies. She's quite squishy. Ivu's quite squishy. Compared to our other front... Oh, we're playing on hard, so she dies a lot. <laughs> Sorry. We Sorry, but it's true. All right, let's pop Eagle Soul. This war must end. Uh, you can pop Shield, sure. Why not? You require my unbiased opinion? Invis our this archery friend. Let us bide our time. This is where you shine, girl. Oh, ideas. yes, it is. Together, we stand. Hang on. Mr. Raggy, show me your slaves. A few shipment of Galarian slaves certainly aren't in best shape. They're notorious for their fragility, but torturing them sure is fun. Oh, wow. These poor guys. They're indifferent. Oh, you poor souls. What have they done to you? It's over now. We'll help. Where are you from? We come from all over, my lady paladin. Most of us were captured back in Canabras. As for me, I got caught on my way to Nerosian. I was on leave going to visit my family. Wow, that's quite a journey you've had. You, uh, you will get to Nerosian and see your family again. I swear on my life. You hear me? Hold tight. Tell the others not to lose heart. We must get them out of here at all costs. We can't abandon our own. If we did, we'd be worse than scum. 
Rucheles causing a rumble of discontent among the slaves. Aw. Winged bitch, what are you looking at? Wow, he, he'll sell us some stuff. I'll buy the Galarian slaves. 15,000 gold coins. Except, he throws a spell that slits the unfortunate throat. That one was completely defective. Be shameful to offer it to a respectable buyer. The heavy silence of the hand of the inheritor is almost palpable. It fills the air like the calm before the storm. Then the angel's voice explodes in your head, roaring and furious like a battle horn. He killed him like an animal. Oh heaven, I knew I was descending into the depths of evil. There must be a limit. There must be a limit to it all. If not today, then someday. I will descend into this din of si den of sin to punish the murderers and save the victims. Your slaves are lucky. They're about to see their master choke on his own blood. Out of nowhere, a knife with a wide jagged blade appears in Raggy's hands. Spinning the knife skillfully with his two numerous fingers, he leers at you without fear. You want to dance? Expeditious retreat. Hey, come back. Wait. What? He... J Wait. The Mephit picks the lock of his cage, uses pointing tails as a skeleton key, makes an obnoxious sound at Raggy, winks at you mischievously, and takes off into the Let's air. Have some fun. Oh, God. Okay, we're fighting guards. What else are we fighting? That might be it. Not even... Oh, Ra no, Raggy is still here. Oh, it was the Mephit that ran away. How strong is, is Raggy? Shaggy. He's not very strong at all. I'm gonna mark for justice him anyway. It seems appropriate. So anyway, I started blasting. Nubkex just crit? Was that Nubkex that just crit for that much? Well, Horsekex just crit Raggy for 112. Not bad. Yeah, Nubkex just did 96 with the crit. Not bad, not bad. Oh, he's super dead, just like that. Phoenix Blast. Ow. Oh god, Arushle almost died somehow. I, like you. I welcome your company. Oh, skip the pleasantries. Rules are made to be broken. That fight wasn't too bad at all. Oh, loot. Not much good. Slave. So, what's next, ma'am? Should we run? Should we face death here? We won't go back in a cage. We've had enough of this demon... Uh, uh, we've had enough of this demon filth. <laughs> um, go to the Nexus. I Omade bless you. Thank you for standing up to us. For us, we'll never forget your kindness. You did, as every true Galarian should, by saving the people from your home world from slavery. Thanks to people like you, my heart holds no doubts. We will emerge victorious from this struggle. Goddamn right. So, Raggy... Wait, Raggy doesn't have my money. Guys, you said Raggy would have my money. Raggy does not have my money, team. I have no money. Raggy didn't have it. Maybe that was a bug and they fixed it. Maybe him having the money was a bug and they fixed it. Uh oh. Well, we've got some stuff we can sell. Good thing I didn't buy stuff I didn't really need. We bought good stuff. Wait, you can only get the money if... Wait, what? Oh, hang on. Let's throw in a... Let's save here. Let's reload. So you think if I, um... What if I just kill him straight up? What if I just kill him? Let's see if that works. To be like, fuck you, slaver. Uh, 
Oh, my Azata quest. Oh, I'll have an Azata quest? How, where do I get the Azata quest? Oh. Okay, so that, that method runs away. It's fine. Let's have some fun. Poor Raggy. Poor Raggy Daddy. No, he doesn't have my money. He doesn't have it. Doesn't have it. Rip money. Hmm. Finish his dialogue? Okay, we could finish his dialogue. Oh, this might be after I killed him. Maybe this whole thing that you kill people and you get your gold back is just a bug. I wouldn't be surprised if that's a bug, chat. You only get the money that was used for buying slaves. Uh, Atlas, I, I think, dude, I think you must have found a bug. I don't think this is a thing. I don't know. Mm, it's not a huge deal. Not the money I use to trade items, only the money for use for slaves. Okay. So then I'm fine with... I'm fine with it then. I'm fine with our choice. We just killed a guy. That, that totally works for me. Okay, so I've got no money, basically, at all. That is unfortunate. What about... So do, so it probably doesn't work with any of the other vendors, then. That none of the vendors, you can buy stuff from them, kill them, and get your money back. I mean, it is a bit exploitive if you can do that. Oh, well. I mean, this guy was definitely at... This guy literally came up in the dialogue. So, basically, we've reloaded here to the point where he killed the slaves in front of us. So, we set them free. Okay, that's fine. I'm fine with that. I'm gone. So, Black Mask, dude. Um, show me the weapons yourself. Bulk sell to him. So I did buy one bow I didn't need. We bought this bow, which I don't actually need the leeching strike one, but it's not a huge deal. Um, sell him this armor, this armor. I'll sell him this breastplate plus four. It's kind of basic. I'll keep this light armor. It's pretty okay. I'll keep the full pl plate. Elemental imbuements is okay. Pad armor maneuver is okay. Life fam. I'll keep these things for now. Cloak resistance plus two. Lesser braces of archery. Mm. Ring of protection plus two. I don't really think we need those. I don't think I need this Jaws of the Jackal, but it doesn't sell for much. Bloodlust I'm keeping. Armor plus two natural. No. Physical flow plus two. No, I'll get rid of that. Protection plus five. I'll keep. Armor plus three. I'll keep. Int plus four. Maybe. Ring protection one. Don't need. Mighty fist one. Don't need. Physical might four is not bad. Ring plus three is okay. Physical flow, physical form, epic songs. Nah, sell that. Mighty fist plus two, don't need. Agile fist two, don't need. Cloak of cleansing, nah. Cloak of disguise, no. Braces of armor two, no. So I'm actually gonna get seventy thousand back from him. That's not too shabby. Seventy thousand money now from selling our stuff. I would like to get this rapier, but it's not essential. And yeah, okay, cool. So who who else had stuff? Krebus had stuff, didn't he? What did Krebus have? So Krebus, he have a ring I wanted. Yeah, he had this, which is pretty good for Regal. 
Oh, and he had the arcane persistence. Arc that, those are pretty good. I'm going to get these Arcane Persistence boots. They're pretty good for Nanio. Basically, every time she casts four spells... Does she have any boots, actually? She doesn't. You know what? Actually, these would be better on her. So every time she casts the same spell four times in a row, her next spell will be quickened, so she'll cast it as a swift action. So she'll be able to cast a quickened spell and a normal spell. So she can just rip through her... Because she just spams Scorching Rays and Fireballs and Fire Snakes. It's going to be pretty good. Does it work with Hexes? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. It went splendidly. The islands floating in the air are not the byproduct. Um... Some crazy magic. It's energies of chaos endow them with bizarre properties. Not even the most amazing thing in the abyss. Citizens. Okay, slaves. Okay, so I think we've actually seen most of the flash markets at this point. Portal up. Venture Captain Gristoff. He's new, actually. Oh! Hello! Venture Captain of the Pathfinder Society. I want to help by providing funds. Has fixed charity rates. A donation for the prisoners of the Abyss is 50,000 gold coins. Price is high, but it will give freedom for the unfortunate, so be it. I don't have that kind of money right now. Unfortunate, our mission could use help. Oh. Okay, hang on. Okay, it's time to... Oh, can I retrain Lan from here? I want to show you my plan for land. My plan for land. Land's the man. Yeah. Okay, so land. Here's what I'm thinking with land. Unfortunately, he's not here. So we're going to... Okay, here's what we're going to do with land. We'll give him athletics. Um, lore world so we can brew potions. And lore nature. Maybe some perception. Give him precise shot, of course. We'll give him longbow. Seeing as we got a really good longbow now, we'll give him longbow. Sure. So we can switch to longbow. And we're going to go in another level of Zen Archer. Athletics. And his knowledgey things. He gets a feat. I guess we could give him deadly aim. Deadly aim is pretty good. And we'll give him Point Blank Master with Longbow for free. Excellent. And now he also gets to use... Um, he gets to use Wisdom instead of Dex to use Range Attack Trolls, which is pretty good. Okay, now... This is what I'm thinking we do with Lan. We go into Hunter. I think this is so cool. And we're going to make him a Wandering Marksman. A Wandering Marksman. And the Wandering Marksman is all about... Having an animal companion, and also these animal focuses. That he can give an animal aspect to his animal companion. And he can also, I think, give it to himself as well. Which is really cool. So it's all about him working in tandem with his animal companion. And sort of basically buffing up his companion and himself and his party with these animal-themed folk uh, themed abilities. Which I think fits Lan really well. Because he's like a, a human that's been merged with like animals. So I think it fits really well. Really, really well. And he's going to get bonuses to attacking the same target as his companion. He's going to lose a bunch of teamwork feats, but that's okay. He's going to be self-reliant. He can bring his animal companion back from the dead and all that sort of stuff. Being one with the wild is pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, we'll give him a bit more whiz, of course. Athletics. And now he can get perception too, which is awesome. And for his animal companion, this is what I'm thinking. We're going to give him... It's got to be a lizard. It's got to be a lizard, guys. Yeah, I mean, Lan's a lizard. He's got to have a lizard companion. And the lizard, this is the important thing. The lizard has a bite attack, and the lizard trips. The lizard trips. So this is the deal. That basically, Lan is going to be in there with Snapshot, and the lizard's going to be tripping. And whenever the lizard trips stuff up, then all of us get opportunity attacks whenever they stand back up, which is kind of nuts. Uh, then for his level one, we're going to get him Acid Maul which makes his companion's bite attack do acid damage, which is pretty cool. 
Um, we'll get him Aspect of the Falcon as well. Actually, yeah, we'll get him Aspect of the Falcon, which will make his bows better, make him crit more. Bonus on, on range attacks, bonus on perception. Pretty nice. Um, he's got, And he gets all these cool things like Animal Focus. He can give competence bonus on perception. We'll probably give him, like, bonus on constitution. He can also give bonus strength to his companion. He can give bonus athletics. Give him evasion, an improved evasion. He give them stealth bonus, movement speed bonuses, uh, or dex bonuses. Pretty cool. So we'll probably end up giving the companion just dex and strength. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to... We'll have to teleport back to kit, kit him out. Oh, no, not Zen Archer. I want to keep him going now is the Hunter, the Wandering Marksman. Which I think actually fits Lan's character as well. Better than Zen Ar Like, Zen Archer is kind of weird. Zen Archer's a bit weird. It doesn't. I feel like it doesn't really fit Lan, whereas the idea that he's this archer wandering around, going through the world, using his natural stuff, and sort of just... Because he is, in terms of his story, just sort of seeing where he's going. Um, so yeah, we got to get him Boon Companion, which will fix his... His Zen Archer levels are nerfing his companion, so this fixes it. Uh, and he's going to get Outflank for free. Because why not, I guess. Sure, free Outflank. Doesn't do anything, but if he moves far away from Nubkex, at least it's something. Get him Hurricane Bow now. Hurricane Bow, so it makes his arrows count as if they're bigger from a bigger bow, which is really nice, with a long bow. Okay. We are going to get him another Wandering Marksman. Good, good. He gets more spells here. So here, we will get him. We can get him Unbreakable Heart, could be okay. Uh, Long Strider could be okay. Feather Step. Feather Step could be kind of nice. Yeah, maybe Feather Step. We can ignore difficult terrain. I think that could be pretty cool. We'll get him Wandering Marksman. We'll get him Snapshot. This is important. Snapshot. Okay. Then we'll get him Barkskin at this level. And then we can get him. He's got a bunch of really cool stuff. Sense Vitals could be really good too. We give him Sense Vitals. So he can start making sneak attacks. That seems very strong. We'll get him Sense Vitals. And Barkskin. Really, really good spells there. More Wandering Marksman. Um, let's give him a Knock of Strength so he hits harder. Pretty good. Make his Athletics really good as well. Uh, then we'll give him... We can just give him all of the buffing spells if we want to do any buffing. We give him Owl's Wisdom so he can buff himself with Wisdom to hit better. That's actually useful. Very important that he has the Wisdom. Wandering Marksman. We'll give him more of this. Um, okay, I think at this point we actually need to give him Rapid Shot so we can take more Snapshot stuff. Okay, so we'll give him Rapid Shot. Just specifically for Snapshot later on. Uh, we could give him Bull Strength. Natural Rhythm's also kind of fun here. Each time the creature strikes an opponent with a natural attack, each consecutive does more damage. Kind of cool. But I think that's probably just, just a straight up Bull Strength would be useful. for his Because his pet's going to be Strength based. Uh, I mean, like, you could give the buffs to Wisdom, but I, I actually think that putting one point in to get your rank up, it's like, yeah, you could dump everything into Wisdom and in terms of his things, and it's good. It's very good, but bear in mind, like, increasing his strength increases his carry weight. It gives him bonuses to damage. It gives him bonuses to his athletics. It gives him quite a lot of bonuses. We'll give him another one in Dex as well, which will give him an AC. It'll give him a Reflex. Like, the def I actually value the defensive benefits pretty highly. I know most people just keep putting it, stacking everything into their best stat, which is fine. But I actually don't like doing that, personally. Let's give him Unbreakable Heart, so he can save his pet if that happens. Level 3, he gets a bunch of fun stuff here. We gotta get him the Gr Magic Fan Grater. That's gotta go in there to buff his pet. Um, we could give him, give him Long Strider Grater, potentially. He can make himself really fast. Feather Step Mass makes everyone in, uh, ignore adverse terrain. It's pretty cool. Let's give him the Chameleon Stride Greater. Kind of going with this whole, like, I'm really just bringing up the power of the animals thing, which is cool. 
Athletics. World Perception. Um, improved Snapshot here. He threatens an additional five feet. This is really good. Okay. Uh, now we can get him probably protection from energy communal. Probably protection from energy communal. Just absorb some of those hits. For level three. Probably that. He cannot remove disease is okay. Yeah, I think this is pretty good. Feather step mass. Let's get him feather step mass because only Arushle has that. Feather step mass. So now he can make everyone ignore adverse terrain. I think that's actually really fun. And very LAN themed, I feel. Um, we'll get him a point in dex, which again is going to give him some, uh, give him more reflex, some bonuses to stuff that doesn't super matter, some combat maneuver, but mostly the reflex and an AC, to be honest. I think that's fine. And then after this point, we'll put everything into wisdom, but I kind of like rounding out the strength and the dex for those bonuses, but I don't know. I mean, the more important ones are the ones that give you save. So like, um... Con and con and dex and wisdom are the more important ones, I feel. Oh, here he can get protection from energy communal anyway. He's going to be basically, by the way, a uh, an at-will caster, which is really cool. He's a, a spontaneous caster, so he doesn't need to prepare spells. You like how I build my characters and their backstory and lore and still make it work for hard? Yeah, that's what I've been really enjoying. I think the companions are actually extremely strong. And the fun thing about this build, that I like about this build, is I actually feel like this fits Lan better. I feel like this fits Lan better than his other builds. I feel like it does. I feel like it really suits him. Let's get him improved crit with a longbow. Improved crit with longbow. Because again, whenever he crits, he can provoke opportunity attacks and stuff. So it's actually really good. Um, aspect of the bear. Gives him AC and stuff. It's kind of fun. We give him aspect of the bear for a laugh. Bonus on his armor and CMB rolls. And he can bull rush. I don't know if this... Yeah, you know what? Like, why the heck not? Give him aspect of the bear. He's like, I could be a bear. Why not? Okay, here we go. Animal growth. This is the big one here. This way he can make his animal bigger. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. And I think we might give him maybe freedom of movement as well. Which no one else really has. Which basically makes people immune to paralysis. Uh, fog, slow, web... And grappling, super good buff. Super good buff. I think we'll get him this. Freedom of movement. Okay, a couple more levels to go. And basically all of his levels are going into Wandering Marksman at this point. I think the downside of Wandering Marksman is it's not a full BAB class. So he doesn't get as many attacks and his chances to hit aren't as good. Let's get him Long Strider. Yeah, so he can move a bit faster. That's quite nice to get him into position. What's Blessing of the Salamander? It doesn't last very round. They gain fast healing, fire resistance, and bonus to CMD. Hmm, that's cool. It'd be fun on his lizard. It doesn't last very long, though. Uh, oh, this one. This one I want. Inspiring recovery. Inspiring recovery. Let's him heal people. It's basically a heal, and he can also bring things back to life with it, which is really cool. And look at this. If you awaken a dead creature in this way, all allies within 60 foot who see it regain consciousness, gain plus two morale bonus, and attack damage rolls and saving throws for one minute. As the healing powers of your deity have imbued them with renewed vigor. Pretty cool. Fun. And this is our final level for now. So as you can see, his, his knowledge world isn't the best. But he will basically be able to make us potions now while camping. He now has a spell book. He'll now be able to actually make us potions, which is cool. He's really good at nature. He's good at athletics, which you do lack a bit. And he's got good perception too. And this is before his gear starts taking effect. Now he's got greater snapshot. Threatens an additional 5 feet with snapshot. And he's going to get big bonuses to the damage. And the critical confirms uh, with those attacks of opportunity. So that's going to be really good. Uh, maybe we'll get him this Blessing of Salamander. He could also get the Blessing of the Wolf. Let's get him Blessing of Wolf. Gives him... Or Aspect of the Wolf. Can he have multiple aspects at the same time or not? Give him plus 4 strength, plus 4 dex. Pretty cool. Let's get him Aspect of the Wolf. And then for Mythic, he's going to take Mythical Beast, of course. Needs that Mythical Beast. Absolutely. You can't have multiple aspects. Okay, that's fine. Uh, you know what? Deadly Aim Mythic could actually be pretty good if he's ever using that. Deadly Aim Mythic is actually very good. But his chance to hit's going to be pretty bad. We could get him Point Blank Shot Mythic. Actually, let's get him Point Blank Shot Mythic. Just an extra plus one to hit. And plus one damage. 
He's going to be point blank all the time, so it makes sense. Uh, we're going to get him to so help him hit. Get him ranging shot so he can hit more. Uh, we are going to get him maybe the deadly aim mythic at this point. If he's running deadly aim. He's not going to be running rapid shot, I don't think. Well, we could... What do we think? Do we do we do we run him with rapid shot now? We could run him with rapid shot. But it means that he wouldn't benefit from his flurry of blows from Monk. But he has very limited flurry of blows. So it's kind of a question mark. Deadly aim will make him hit a lot harder. Let's go with this for now. And then we are going to get him. Um Ever ready. Whenever he does an attack of opportunity, bonus to attack and damage equal to his mythic rank. And he can attack more. He already has bonuses to opportunity attacks. And that is Lan. Okay. Let's head back to... Let's take the portal back to base. And let's, let's level up his pet as well. And let's check out Lan now. Let's go back to the Nexus. He might actually want to talk to us straight away. We'll see. But yeah, I think this build just fits Lan. The idea that he has all of these, it's like really channeling all these animal aspects, you know? Channeling these animal aspects, working with an animal. Here's Lan. Here he is. Life's a funny thing, isn't it? You find yourself in a new city and suddenly you bump into an old old acquaintance. Savamelik is here in Alashinara. You felt it too, Lan. The bloodthirst, the soft whispers calling you to violence. Finally paying attention, are you? Uh, no. I don't hear any whispers and feel no bloodthirst, Wendu. Wendu, see a healer. I think you're insane. <laughs> you're just insane. How do you know he's in Alashinara? I feel it. You know, it's like a scent. You smell something unusual once in your life and remember it forever. That feeling I had in a cave when Safa Malik was turning the mongrels into beasts. It's back. Like some cloying nasty stench that's clogging up my lungs. Like I fell into a latrine and can't swim. Excuse the analogy. Assuming he's here, where should we look for him? Now, that I don't know, but this thing, it seems to grow weaker and stronger as we move around, so if you put me on the scent, I'll lead you to him like a hound. Alright, let's find his lair together, Lan. The right thing to do would be to just raise this whole city to the ground, but one demon's lair will do to start with. Take me with you, mistress. I can feel him too, but my senses are more finely honed than Lan's. Safamelik's poison runs in my veins. I never thought I'd say this, but that might not be such a bad idea. Oh, it's a quest for Wendu and Lan together. Oh, how cool. And this... This is Lan's buddy, this monitor lizard! Little lizard bro! Little lizard bro, we're gonna make him um, a bully. Which will help him trip stuff up. So this is gonna enhance his tripping abilities as a bully, as the pet. His pet's gonna be all about tripping things. I guess we'll give it perception. Uh, we'll give it athletic. Now we'll give it athletics and maybe mobility. Sure, why not? Why not? He doesn't need perception. Lan's got perception. He's fine. Okay, we can get him Fury's Fall now at level one. Let's him use his strength and his Dex bonuses to trip. So we can up this pet's strength and Dex, and it's gonna. They'll both give him bonuses to tripping things. This is called. Um, thanks, Lan. Is the name of the pet. Thanks, Lan. So awesome, Lan. Okay, great. Okay. This level, we can give him we weapon focus with bite is actually a good idea because he wants to hit to actually land. Um, he wants to hit to land his trips. Uh, we'll give him another strength. Excellent. Okay. More of these. Gets another feat. Um, what feats do we want for this guy? Uh, but -da -ba -da -ba -da. Probably Agile Maneuvers. That's your dex bonus instead of strength bonus. I think he's going to have more strength than dex, so that's not so good. Weapon Finesse he also doesn't need. Uh, let's give him Toughness, make him a bit tankier so he doesn't die too much. That'll be good. Oh, I just realized I was supposed to give him intelligence. Oh, crap. 
Oh, ah, oh, shit. I think I might have misdone this. Yeah, I was supposed to give him int three. Oops. So we, we're gonna miss on a couple of the feats he was supposed to get. Oop, mistakes were made. Supposed to have int three. Mistakes were made to get his feats. Well. Oh, yeah, he's not gonna get too many good. Th oh, crap. This is a problem. Um. I think he's missing out on lots of the stuff that he wants. I mean, blind fight could be okay. Combat reflexes. Let's, let's see here at this level. So he's supposed to have the int. I got distracted. We might have to respec him again. I think we're going to have to respec him again, to be honest. Because you, you'll see now, he's going to get way more feats. Yeah, he have way more feats now. Wow. Tandem trip. Actually, what do I even want for this guy? doesn't really matter. He just needs to trip stuff up, to be honest. Actually, you know what? It's actually probably fine, actually. I think it's actually fine. <laughs> we could get him dodge. Could also work. And improved on arm strike. Make him tankier. That's probably a good idea. Uh, he has seized the moment. Because we're Azata. Everyone has seized the moment. And outflank. Everyone has outflank and seized the moment. Which makes our rangers really good, too. Improved critical would be pretty nice. Let's get him the uh, improved unarmed strike. We get him crane stuff. Give him a dex bonus. For more AC. Okay. For feats. Crane style. <laughs> And then, he has insane athletics, actually. Uh, give him crane wing as well. Extra AC. Animal companions just have busted stats, straight up. So he, uh, right now he's got plus six strength from Lan, which is nice. Animal focus. Lan has got more animal focus. So we need to take them out on the field together. Let's actually, let's do this real fast. So let's actually step out into the field with Lan. Put her away. Take Lan in. The issue with not having Arushalay in the party is that we don't have anyone that can actually do uh, pickpocketing. But yeah. But yeah, but basically... So they actually get outflank for free. Lan and his pet get outflank for free, which is actually not that useful for us. So maybe I could respec him, actually, and we could have taken something else with Lan's bonus feat because we get outflank anyway. Okay, but let's take a quick look at Lan here. So for Lan... Lan is going to take this longbow of leeching strike. Okay, now he's got penalties because of yeah his his penalties. So we need to actually go into this. We need to turn off rapid shot for now. Mm-hmm. So his perfect strike. He has nine. He has nine flurries of blows, which is pretty decent. So nine rounds, he can make extra attacks. But look at so he can have two of these on. So he can have animal strength. He can also turn on tiger. He can have both. And then the big thing for him is for 12 rounds per day, he can give himself the bonus. So he can give himself, for 12 rounds per day, he can give himself the plus six strength, plus six stacks, which is kind of cool. So he can buff himself up. He could also saddle up, but I don't think I want to do that. Uh, but yeah, he has his perfect strike. Point blank shot would always want to be on. Let's put these away for now. Um, he has his flurry blows. He can also bring his companion back from the dead, which is really cool. So he can res his companion for free. So if it dies, no problem. He'll bring it back. He can summon that in. Okay, cool. Then he's a whole bunch of spells. You know, not amazing spells, but nice spells. So let's see what his stats are like when he's fully buffed. Let's actually arrange his bars. Take everything off, and we'll put stuff on then. Oh, I didn't mean to click that. I'm curious. Okay, but anyway, he has Unbreakable Heart, which is kind of nice. Yeah, oh yeah, he's got Emergency Swap as well. That's kind of fun. He can swap with his pet. He can swap his position with his pet, <laughs> which is kind of hilarious. 
and he gets bonuses to attack stuff his pet's attacking too. Um, so he's going to have his Aspect of the Falcon. Uh, his Acid, Acid Maw will buff his pet. Aspect of the Falcon buffs him. Hurricane Bow buffs him. He can, he can do Feather Step. Not super useful, but he can do it. He can Long Strider himself. He has Bark Skin for other people. It's much more important, actually. Put this up here. It's not super good. Bark Skin on other people. He can Sense Vitals himself. And he has his Owl's Wisdom. His Bull Strength. His Aspect of the Bear, if he wants to use Aspect of the Bear. He has Magic Fang Greater for his pet. Chameleon Stride Greater to buff his whole team. Feather Step Mass to buff the whole team. Protection from Energy buff the whole team. Um, he has Animal Growth for his pet. Freedom of Movement for whoever. Inspiring Recovery, he can bring people back from the dead. Aspect of the Wolf to give himself a uh, bonus to Strength and Dex, which is kind of cool. I'm actually curious what happens when he fully buffs himself, to be honest. Okay, let's change the rest of his gear around as well, because it kind of bugs out, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Right. So he still has this, which is bonus against chaotic enemies, which is pretty cool. And increases his key pool, which is nice. Um, for his belt, we could give him the belt of physical flow, strength, and dex. He uses them both. Um, he has a blood scent cloak. I guess that's fine. Storyteller's Ring? What's that? Luck bonus and saving throws against fire? That's pretty terrible. Give him Ring of Protection plus 5, I guess. Ring of Protection plus 2 doesn't need that. We need to get him another ring, basically. Jaws of the Jackal doesn't need that. Uh, he has lesser braces of archery for a better chance to hit. Here we go. This is the nice one. Band of Wisdom. Give some Wisdom. Okay, cool. Oh, he only has Agile Fist plus 1. Oh, I sold some better ones. I guess this doesn't really work for him anymore. So he can have a different necklace. So, yeah, his chances to hit, not the best. His base attack bonus is quite low, but his damage is high. And he does, remember, he gets bonuses. He gets bonuses to hit based off of when he shoots stuff that his pet is shooting. And his pet is pro proccing opportunity attacks. But yeah, we, start, we buff him up now. Let's see what he can do. He's also giving every ranged person near him concealment. Feather step mass for the party. Give the party, like, whatever. Protect fire communal. All the protections, which is pretty neat. He can bark skin his pet, because why not? He can owl's wisdom himself, though I guess it doesn't really matter. Probably doesn't stack, actually. But it's good that he has it. So he could actually wear a different headpiece and buff himself. Um... And I guess the strength and dex enhancement won't really work either. This one will give him... Yeah, I guess this, I guess these things don't stack, right? They don't actually stack, which is a bit of a bummer. But yeah, so not too shabby. But uh, So he doesn't actually need the headband. He could wear a different head because he has... He buffs himself at wisdom. Enemosi tradisi. Enemosi tradisi. For his belt. What was the other one he could have got? Physical might. Bloodlust. Oh, yeah, whenever he lands a killing blow, gains morale bonus in his next attack rolls. Yeah, he might not land killing blows that much. We could give him dex and con. He'll lose strength. But that's okay. Meditate on your mistakes. Might make you um, because he can... Aspect of the wolf to get the strength back. So he actually doesn't need... Yeah, he can give himself plus four with Aspect of the Wolf for, for now. He might get other Aspects later, I'm not sure. Uh, then, Aspect of the Wolf trip. Oh, he can auto trip. Well, he doesn't really need that. He can do sneak attacks with Sense Vitals too, which is pretty awesome. Um, he can Magic Fang his pet. Let's see how his pet's gonna be. He can Animal Growth his pet. And then, of course, do not forget that we enlarge Lan, which will increase his range for return attacks. And the penalty to dexterity does not affect his chance to hit because his chance to hit is based off of his um, his wisdom. So, oh, he gets minus one from size, but he doesn't lose. Uh, his wisdom is what's buffing him. But he gets minus one from size. But look at his damage now. It's 29 to, to 44. And again, he's going to be getting... Um, where is it? He's going to be getting... Which one is it? Is it this one? 
this one. Okay, so he is currently a level 12 Wandering Marksman, so he gets plus 2 to attack and plus 2 to damage whenever he attacks an enemy who's fighting with his en enemy companion, with his animal companion. So, the, the downside is that his chance to hit isn't great. He's got bad BAB, and his wisdom bonus is not crazy high right now. Uh, unfortunately, it's not insanely high. Um... But yeah, like he's bringing nice buffs, and now let's check out his pet, which also doesn't have any gear on it. But he now has a pet. The pet has got decent AC, the pet has 45 strength and 9 dex. Um, the pet has a plus 28 on his chances to trip, which is pretty good. And I think that's even better when he's actually doing trips. So the pet is kind of awesome. Bisco, well, he's got bonus strength and dex, so we don't need to give him strength and dex. Uh, what's his bonus to con? We could probably give him more bonus con, right? Yeah, there we go. 200 HP. It's not bad. He can't wear rings, obviously. Give him a cloak of resistance, so he's got decent resistances. Um, I need a necklace for this little guy as well. I mean, braces of armor he can have, I suppose. We could give Lan int. Seeing as Lan has wisdom on. Give Lan some more int, just for fun. And we give the pet wisdom, which will give him more save throws, which is kind of nice. Or Lan could just buff him. That's also a possibility. No, actually, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's have Lan just buff wisdom on the pet to give it some saving throws. That's one th nice thing about that. But yeah, so the pet has like plus 32 to hit. He does 31 to, to 36 damage. And the big thing about thanks Lan here is, he again, he's got the plus 28 to trip. I mean, the defaults, I don't know what the default even is. Plus 4, like... Nubkex has a plus 16 to trip people. Whatever. This pet has plus 28. <laughs> and bear in mind, the pet also has... Um, yeah, whenever he succeeds at a trip, he gets plus 2 to attack and damage at the end of the next turn. Uh, he, he automatically trips whenever he lands a hit with his bite, which is nice. Um, yeah, he's also going to add his dex bonus to CMB when he's making a trip. So he'll get another plus 9 on his trips. Don't forget that, which is also pretty good. And he should be reasonably tanky as well if he's fighting defensively, which he is not right now. So he should be fighting defensively, which will lower his chance to hit a bit, but it's worth it. So yeah, he gets some nice stuff. And he can do manual trips as well, but it's not as good. Um, so yeah, he's basically going to be tripping everything up. Whenever it, it, it trips, whenever it stands up from the trip, Lan will get an opportunity attack and smack it for all this damage and a sneak attack, probably. And Lan, of course, don't forget... Lan has big bonuses to hit and damage with opportunity attacks, which will help Lan hit more often, because Lan will sort of struggle to hit a bit. So yeah, that's sort of the idea here. That's sort of the idea here. Yep. A little lizard pet biting things. 40, 45 strength lizard. Yeah, because he's got his animal growth. You know, he's got his animal growth, animal focus, bull, animal companion, mythic beast, and then plus eight from something. I don't even know. Out of curiosity, save the game. What happens if we legendary for four? Okay, so this is Lan's current stats, plus twenties, twenty twenty-nine to forty-four. What happens if we um? What happens if we do his legendary proportions on Lan? His attack goes down even more. Thirty-two to fifty-two damage though. <laughs> but yeah, kind of cool. Lan has crazy strength like this, so his attack is terrible. But, dear lord, does he hit hard. He hits hard. And he also has a couple of these. He has these precise strikes, which is kind of nice. So he can roll his... He can do his attack roll twice, which is kind of cool. It's kind of cool. And he has his bonus attacks here. Will Sense Vitals show up in, this, in the damage? Probably not. No, it doesn't show up. But he has Sense Vitals, too. Um, and Sense Vitals... So for every caster level... He'll go. He'll get an extra five d six damage as well. He'll hit for an extra five d six damage with sense vitals too when he's level fifteen in the hunter. Right now, I think it's four d six. He's basically shooting bazooka arrows. Yeah, pretty much. So Lan's kind of a monster. He's kind of a monster, to say the least. Um, yeah, he does a lot. And his AC is not. He's got thirty two AC by the way. I guess some of it's from legendary proportions, but I mean, he's not too shabby. So I'm definitely interested in trying this out. I'm interested in trying it out. And he's not even, like, the best geared or anything right now. Like, he's, he's okay, but 
Yeah, so there you go. That's sort of my idea with his build. But the idea is... Oh, also, I forgot to turn on his pet bonus. Animal Focus Hunter. I don't know if that will really change much. I gave him an extra strength, actually. Gave him Animal Focus Bull plus 6. And this. So he's up to 33 to 54. 53. Kind of cool. But yeah, so that's sort of the idea there. With the, the Wandering Marksman. Um... And he will ultimately, he'll get up to here. So he he will also get imminent attack. At 15th level, he can, uh, as a standard, shoot ammunition three times per day, which marks all enemies in 10 foot as prey. Against such creatures, your animal companion gets plus three to attack and damage, bypasses damage, it already bypasses that, and hardness, don't know what hardness is. Whenever your animal companion kills a marked enemy, all its critical range is increased by one until the end of combat, multiple applications stack. So, that's kind of cool. Uh, and then he will ultimately get one with the wild. Um, the hunter and their companion can attempt to demoralize all animals as a swift action. As if using Dazzling Display. Which is situational, but pretty cool. So yeah, he'll miss out on Master Hunter. Which is unfortunate. We give him unlimited. Unlimited. So right now he only has 12 turns, 12 rounds of it. You get unlimited, but he can't get that. Or we could potentially sacrifice one with the wild, get him imminent attack, and we could go up and get him another key power, which is not great, and key arrows. This is unarmed damage, which might do more. I don't know. Could be cool, but yeah. So, I don't know, this is my idea with Lan, and I think it just sort of fits the theme of Lan, and, you know, I think it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So Lan's gonna hit like a truck, if he hits, which is the question mark, that Lan may not always hit, but if he does, he will hit like a truck and just destroy things. Uh, and then again, the big benefit is that he also has this pet. The pet will be a bit of a meat shield. Um, but the more important thing is that the pet will basically be tripping stuff all over the place, which stops them attacking. And yeah, I mean, it should just hopefully be pretty good. Hopefully be pretty good. That's the sort of plan with that. What is this that you've, you've linked me? Oh, full resolution. Okay. What is this? How do I... Oh, it's a picture. I see. Regil did 900 damage to Baphomet. Oh, we fight Baphomet? Holy shit. Wow, Regil's hitting like an absolute beast. That's pretty cool. Go, Regil, go. For your next run, you copy the land build. Yeah, cool. Uh, like I said, I think we were supposed to get... Thanks. So, Thanks Land was supposed to have three int earlier. Uh, and then, I think I was supposed to... Uh, yeah. So, I don't know if I was supposed to give him combat reflexes. Um, I think that, basically, he was supposed to get, like, the crane-style feats earlier. So, that's what I'd recommend. Instead of getting combat reflexes and toughness, I would still get him Fury's Fall and Weapon Focus Bite. Uh, but then I'd get him... i get him Dodge improved unarmed and this stuff and obviously he needs outflank so if you um if you don't have a zata i'm a zata so i give my companions outflank and seize the moment by default actually he has no never mind derp of course i'm stupid he has outflank because lan has outflank and lan gives him outflank so he's actually totally fine so yeah cool never mind ignore me uh, let's do a quick rest to bring ifu back Bring back the Ivu. Uh, I think we have enough of these scrolls now. Let's make uh, let's make more legendary proportions. See, so, yes, I think we're going to be using it. Oh yes, legendary proportions. Don't mind if I do. Demon Slayer soup. So, for example, Lan should now be able to make potions. Yeah, he can make some potions. Not very good potions. I need better potion kit so I can make these stuff. But he can make he can make potions of freedom of movement. That's pretty okay for when he's not in the party. Um, but I don't I don't know how worthwhile this is gonna be because we want to be good at making demon slayer soup, which is not guaranteed. So that's the one downside. It's that Lan as your potion brewer is not great. Wow, why is your chance of success so low? What the heck? Why is this so low? Oh, it's because I haven't buffed him. Ah, oh, crap. Well, I guess we'll try. That's not good. Might not get this. Sila, my dear. 
Won't you tell me again how sinful and morally bankrupt my lifestyle is, and how I must see the error of my ways? <laughs> Your lectures always send me straight to sleep. Yeah, right. Today, your path to repentance is silent prayer and self-reflection. Oh, we failed. We rolled a three. That's unfortunate. Oh, well. Okay, so Ivo's back. That's good. Hey, ASMRs are here. Hey, look at this. We're, we're starting to build up a bit of a, a team here back in base. That's nice. So let me see. That could be okay. Steady finger. Touch attack rolls. Ah, I have mighty fists. We can give that to the pet. We got a bunch of stuff we could realistically sell here as well, let's be honest. What's this necklace? Circulating blood, blood rage. No, well, no one's a blood rager. Heavy paws. When you crit, you do more damage. Yes, we'll give that to our guy. We could sell a bunch of this stuff, actually, that we don't need. Half of a pair, actually. I wonder if this stuff works now. When you're within 10 feet to each other, you gain circumstance bonus and attack. And circumstance bonus and AC. I wonder if we uh, that would work. Maybe it will. We could sell a bunch of this stuff now, too. We don't need... This could be great with Lan, actually. Just extend the prones. That could be fun, though the DC is probably not high enough. What's this? Ring of protection plus one. Yeah, we got a bunch of junk here we could sell. We might put this collar on someone now. Resourceful Magis. Shape, sh wild shape. I'm going to put this short bow away for now. And I'm going to actually put these away for now. Stuff I don't want to sell. That could be useful in some way. Okay, so hang on. So, for our lizard. For our lizard friend. Here you go, buddy. Mighty Fist plus two. Oh, that's extra chance to hit and extra damage. Uh, yeah, whenever you, uh, whenever you crit... He'll do extra damage. That's kind of nice. And hopefully he crits a decent amount. Hey, pretty cool. Go, lizard, go. And then, that's right. We don't need natural armor. Anymore. Uh, what does Lan have? Agile fists. We could give Lan this. Does this help him at all? No, because he no longer does... Yeah, he no longer does that. Okay. We could give Na Lan the slaver thing. AC, natural armor, reflex and fort. Nah, I want him to have some will. I want him to have will save throws. We need some more necklaces. We're very short on necklaces. It's not so good. Give him just a cloak resistance plus three as well. You can have the mighty fist plus two though. It's fine. You've got agile fists. Horse Kex has mighty fist plus four and you have mighty fist plus two. Not bad, not bad. Okay, uh, for ring of protections, You've got a plus one. That's yikes. What's this? You take a plus three ring. You need another ring. Here, be good against fire. Why not? Where's Wendwog? We got a belt for her. Bloodlust belt for Wendwog. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Now, Wendwog, now she is a powerful character. Phantom Slayers, excellent. Mantle of Night. She has natural armor, too. I definitely don't want to cripple her will. She has no will. Ring protection plus two. Deadly swing. Yeah, we just need more necklaces in general. Give her cloak of resistance. She definitely needs that. We're going to probably bring her out. Half a pair is bugged. Yeah, I believe it is. So I was just wondering if it has been fixed. I don't know if they've... Let me, let me know whenever they do fix it. Because that'll be pretty cool whenever they do fix it. Oh, you still have a ring. Just plus two ring. Yikes. And you got a plus two cloak. Okay, we need to we need to upgrade some of these guys. I mean, we're not really using them, mind you, but... Yeah, this guy's got terrible gear, pretty much. 
Natural armor plus one. Saving throws against poison. Yeah, let's use this. Uh, you know what? Regil could end up being good with this this collar, because he has so many bonuses on his against will stuff anyway. Might be okay. God, Regil's a bit of a beast. He actually already has good stuff. Your protection plus two. Man, Regil hits hard. So yeah, Wendwag. In comparison to Lan, like that's the thing with Lan. So Lan, he also doesn't have heroic. Bear in mind, Lan does not have heroism. So right now, actually, Lan only has his basic buffs. And he's got 21 to hit, 21's to hit, and he's doing okay damage. We compare that to our other archers. Wendwog is just on another level. Like, she's 29's to hit, and she's going to do sneak attack damage as well. Like, Wendwog is so disgusting, it's not even funny. Arushalay up to, like, 25, 20, 15 to hit. So Arushalay's more comparable to Lan. Lan has more attacks. Um, oh, Arush Arushalay doesn't have Rapid Shot turned on. Why not? Oh, that's dumb. So Arushalay is 25, 25, 20, 15. Lan is 21, 21. So, yeah, she's got a bigger chunk to hit, for sure. Uh, but she doesn't have a pet, which Lan does. And she brings her favorite enemies. They actually combo well together, but, like, Wendwog is just, like... Wendwog is just... I don't even... She's just disgusting, basically. She's, like, a ranged Regil. So she's not squishy. Yeah, she's she's insane. She is insane. Okay, cool. We give her a shirt, I guess. Did I have a shirt? No. None of these are shirts, shirts. This is a shirt. But it's not going to do anything. Right. Cool. Okay, great. Great. So, we could actually potentially do their quest next. That might be a good place to go. We have to go to the upper city for Mage Tower. Uh-huh. Talk to Latverk. We need to go back and do that. We need to talk to Arushale. Ah. Find Safamalek's lair. When do I can help find him? Will Odessa's mansion. Take Kameli to the brothel. Bring Waldip to the upper city. Talk to Arushale. So this is both Wendwag and Lan. So we could bring Wendwag and Lan to find the lair. Bring them both. We could do that. What helmet does she have on? I think it just gives her initiative or something. I don't even know. Yeah, she's got plus four initiative helmet, which is okay. It's okay. I mean, it's better than nothing. Okay, great. I am going to go to the shop. I'm going to save it here. Guys, we are going to return to Pathfinder later today. Uh, I'm going to save it here. We will be back for Pathfinder later on. Um, but I'm going to go to the shop. Uh, I need to get stuff. And I'll be back. And we'll be doing some uh, Final Fantasy then. So, I will see you soon. And, uh, yeah, it'll be good. <laughs> I'll see you soon. We'll do Final Fantasy for the afternoon. Then I'll go cook dinner. And then we'll be back at some point later on this evening for a bit of a late night Pathfinder stream as well. All right, I'll see you soon, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.